You've caught us in the middle of a deep fried chicken battle. Our brief was to go big, to go ridiculous. It's never been done before. In fact, we've not tested any of this, so who knows what's gonna happen. Ready? Good luck. <laughs> this, this might be a mistake. I think this is a massive mistake. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. go! The first thing I'm doing is sectioning an entire chicken. My first step is to separate 12 eggs. And I can't explain why. <laughs> 12 eggs? 12 eggs. Wow. This needs so much context, so much context, I'm not sure I can give it to you. You're gonna have to wait and see. Wow, what a teaser. What I'm doing is just disgusting. I'm taking the skin so I can see all the different parts clearly. <laughs> I think it's key to point out the only reason we're doing this battle again is because our hot dog battle went down really well. It went down a storm. As a benchmark, it was a really fun video to make and we made some relatively tasty looking dishes. But I get the feeling the more we do this, <laughs> the more likely we are to run into a wall. The problem is, because it's just me and you, the safe member of Sorted, who will just go for something packed full of flavour, isn't here. Two You're basically minds. left with two different variations of madness. That's... How many eggs have you done? Are yeah. you struggling with counting already? I forgot, I forgot to count, I got carried away. I, <laughs> I was meant to do 12, but I got carried away and I forgot they come in bags in boxes of 12. <laughs> Thank you, Izzy. <laughs> this is why it's confusing. Eggs come in dozens or half a dozen. This come in 10. Not my fault. I'm now putting my egg yolks into a bag, obviously. I had to scramble them, so. So here is a little bit of context. Um, these eggs are now going to be sous vide or just sous vide I'm not sure what the right term is. <laughs> um, to the point where they get all jammy. And then I'll be using them to decorate my fried chicken. I'm just running the knife down the side of the bone to make sure that I get as much of the meat as possible. And just like that, I have now sectioned my chicken. I have two thighs, two legs, two wings, two breasts. You catch me mid smashing a chicken. You might be thinking, why? Today, I'm making a traditional chicken schnitzel Holstein. What's exciting about that, I hear you say. That's just a delicious deep fried chicken schnitzel, egg on top, anchovies and some capers. I'm making mine f massive. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what you're thinking again. Barry, how are you going to make it that big? Well, I'm using this to cook my schnitzel. <laughs> it's going to be one big piece of schnitzel. What am I doing with this partitioned chicken, I hear you ask? Well, my trouble when it comes to fried chicken is that there are so many international fried chickens from all over the world that taste amazing, it's really hard to choose. I'm going to reconstruct this chicken and demonstrate four international fried chicken flavours in one. In one chicken? One chicken. I'm going Korean on the wings, Japanese on the breast, Southern USA on the thighs, and Austrian on the drumsticks. Silly idea, isn't I'm, it? I'm, mate, it's an inspired idea. The word reconstruction, though, I'm nervous of. What I'd really like to do, because I'm going to dip these in different breadcrumbs and have different sauces um, akin to where they're from. You want to make it look like a chicken again? I would really like to put it back on the carcass and make it look like a chicken, oh, but just with... I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a plan B if that doesn't work. So for Southern USA, I'm going buttermilk fried chicken. So this is buttermilk. It's going to be used for my dredge. So in here I have smoked paprika, onion granules, garlic granules, chili powder, black pepper, and some oregano. I'm just gonna use it to stick my flour to my chicken and then fry in it. In order to make my giant schnitzel, I've gotta take all my bashed out chicken and stick it together. This is meat glue. It's a magical substance that combines the proteins from different meats. So you can stick steak onto fish or chicken to chicken. All I have to do, is sprinkle it onto my breast, stick it together, without breathing it in or getting it onto my skin. Because uh, it's really what? dangerous. Don't breathe in for the next few minutes. Then, I'm gonna cover it into a fridge to allow the proteins to start to stick together and leave it in there for as long as possible. So, my flour is a mix of corn flour, 
and self-raising flour with a tiny little bit of turmeric. The thighs go in flour, go in buttermilk, go in flour, go in the oil. So tip, get some flour in the oil first to make it nice and dirty and then the chicken will colour better. You've made a big flat chicken square. So yeah, now I've got to egg wash it. We'll dip it in egg. I've got flour, egg and bread crumb it. Mm. I haven't thought about this bit yet. Bye. So this is going to get interesting. This is something I never thought in a million years I'd ever be doing. But it's <laughs> really mad, satisfying. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is perfection. So I've combined some of the seasoning mix from before that I've held back with some sea salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over. USA, done. So for the Korean wings, so I'm gonna season the wings skin on with salt and pepper, then into just corn flour, and they're good for frying. Now I'm living my best dream because I can turn all the hobs on full. No one can me now for using too many hops. Oh my God! If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Korean wings done. For my Japanese breasts, I'm going katsu curry. I've got flour seasoned with togarashi into the flour into the eggs and into panko breadcrumbs. Go time. Wrap in my chicken around my... Oh my goodness, I should have bought a bigger roll. Sorry. Yeah! Ow, hot! Wow, wow, wow! It's in! Whoa! It looks it's... like a giant fried egg! Now I've got to worry about how to flip it. It's so, rigid. it's so rigid. It's better done this side. It's gonna tear. It's gonna tear, isn't it? We can't, it's oh, we gonna can't tear. tear. It. Not, this is not good for safety. Even Slate is panicking. I can all of us get one. On that side. Okay. Ready? And then under in three, two, one. Okay. Mind the oil. Right. Okay, okay. Now someone tell me the plan. Now what? Okay. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. Three. Two. We're going Which, this way. That way, you're going that way. <laughs> right. Okay, three, three two, two, one, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! <laughs> yes, later! Oh. 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 Should have put it in that way first time. We'll cook it on the other side. I'll clear down and then I can work on my egg. So obviously, katsu curry's got to come with a katsu curry sauce. I have a katsu curry cube which you just add water to, and it creates this incredible sauce. And finally, for my drumsticks, again, Austrian. So there is a fried chicken dish called Backhendel, and I'm really sorry for the bad pronunciation, but it's essentially like a schnitzel, but they deep fry entire bits of chicken in it, and then serve it with lemon, parsley, some really zingy salads and stuff like that, and it looks fantastic, so I'm gonna give it a go. So the funny feature of the schnitzel is that it's topped with a fried egg. I'm going to try and make a giant egg. All the egg whites are separate earlier. I'm going into a pan to create a massive white. And then I'm going to pipe on the eggs that I was soon beating earlier. Context. And it sounds even more stupid now I say it out loud. <laughs> Are you confident with this? Nope. Look at it. You deep fried egg white. Deep fried egg white, you're right. That's what, that's, that's, that's what I've done. Bottom's done. Now, to cook out the rest of the uh, white on top into the oven. So my Korean glaze is gochujang, butter and honey and a little bit of sesame oil. Oh, Barry! Delicious. Where's the yolk? Oh, the yolk is to come. Everything so far has worked. Even the overall vision at the end is coming together. This can't be true. But I'm not oh sure. God, look at it. <laughs> A good idea. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Traditionally, you'd have like anchovies on top of this, but we need to make a 
massive anchovies. So well, how are you serving this? This is this mate, is it, mate. This is it's, this it's is being so served. dumb. Then usually again, you can just put capers, but we have some giant capers. That I think set the dish off nicely. Now time for our yolk. Checking out our yolk, it's congealed, it's gone a bit bitty, so we want to be super smooth, so we're thinking of blending it before we stick it on top. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that is ludicrous! Now I've got to put this thing back together and make it look like a chicken. Time to coat my wings. So the Korean wings are getting coated in my gochujang glaze. I think it's gonna taste good, but that is the, one of the worst looking things I've ever made, ever. Here we go, everybody, are we ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm, I'm ready for this. Question is, is Ebba's ready for this? Ebba's? Lift, Lift your, your blindfold. blindfold. If you dare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? This is chicken schnitzel Holstein. Just a big one. It's a huge one. And this is international chicken of the world. Straight off. You've done that thing where you've taken a brief and you've absolutely run with it. Yeah. <laughs> chicken run with it. Chicken run, yeah. <laughs> How have you done that? So what you have here is just chicken that's been bashed out very thinly, floured. How big was egg, your chicken? Bread crumbs. Uh, How many breasts? Six breasts. And then uh, topped off with uh, fried egg white and a sous vide egg yolk. And traditionally served with anchovies and massive capers. That it is. I, this is very clever. So traditionally, what is this dish? Because ain't that. No, okay, super traditional, it is usually veal. Mm, okay. Um, but this is a fried chicken battle. Uh, so, <laughs> we've got fried chicken, and it literally, it does look just like that. Just about. Just a bit smaller. Just a bit just smaller. Just a bit smaller. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? In these battles, that is perfect. <laughs> is it normally served with like lemon as well? Because I feel like it needs. No, I don't think it is on this one. Emma's, I've got a little bit of lemon on mine if you want it. Usually, the egg yolk is enough. Do you know what? It's an accomplishment. <laughs> Is that the compliment you wanted? To get that kind of even cook on something so big is remarkable. It is incredibly thin, which whilst it would traditionally be veal and this is chicken, is impressive. What's the yolk like? Mm, it's really nice, it's, it's custardy. It is, yeah, it's essentially a custard without the dairy. What you've got is a really lovely crunchy outside. Inside, the chicken breast, hasn't been obliterated, but it is a little over. Yeah. But as a feat of <laughs> the monstrosity of it and the playfulness of it, as something that no one's ever going to do at home, but if you did and five friends came over to share it, it would be quite fun. Okay, brilliant. Good. Thank Where you. Where in the world's yours from, Mike? All over, Ebbers. <laughs> so, international chicken of the world reformed into a chicken. Have you got any veterinary qualifications? <laughs> no. And you got. Green, green, wings. green wings. You've got katsu curry, panko breadcrumbs. You've got southern USA. And then you have um, the classic Austrian fried chicken, traditionally served with um, lemon and parsley. On the bone. Have you French trimmed your bones? Yeah, mate. Oh, checkers. It's one of the worst looking things I've ever made, but I put a lot of effort into it. So it doesn't look as attractive as your last battle thing. <laughs> it's because it's yeah, not an Yeah, okay, Ebers. great. If I'd have put some glasses on it. Very tasty. Succulent through to the bone. Okay, katsu, everyone loves a bit of katsu. That is classic curry out of a packet sauce, which is what makes Japanese katsu so good. And then the Korean wings. I'm That's sorry kinda... that you're having to... Not at all. Because this is really fun and playful. That's more of a culinary challenge, I think, because you've got to work out the feasibility of doing something like that. Each of these individually, we've done before, but never dissected 
separated out into various flavors and then done all at the same time. So I imagine the huttle storm of juggling all of this was chaotic, but the results have been pretty good. So, Evers. Oh, you got, I've got to pick a favorite you now. You have <laughs> got to pick a favorite. Both are very playful and fun. The worrying thing is, we were allowed to do it. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is one, job. I can see on a menu. If you actually took a chicken yeah. and cut it for saute, as many chickens are dissected and cooked separately, you could absolutely see that on a menu. And I think I'd want to order it. To share with a few people and a big salad to cut through the grease, some freshness to it. That's the one that I would order again. I think it's great. Yeah! Well done! Well done. Well done. Wow. But this is also clever and the egg yolk is excellent. So, so far, I'm not sure where, what, what planet Evers is on at the moment. That chicken has won, but also hot, my hot dog sushi also won. Yeah. Evers, are you feeling okay? It's fine. Moment? They're both great, great <laughs> innovations. You've got very high pitched. They're, they're both great innovations. Both your uh, very bizarre hot dog Californian roll <laughs> and this, they taste good. Wow. Well, over wow. to you, what did you think? Don't judge on looks, judge <laughs> on whatever says. Comment down below, let us know. And if you want to see us do any more of these battles, make sure you give the video a like and tell us what to do next. Oh no, it can't get any more crazy than that, can it?